Now let's understand what is pre-rendering in Next.js. So what happens in React application is that when we load a page, all the contents and by content, I mean HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all these items are generated on the browser or on the client side, which is also known as CSR, client side rendering. But in Next.js application, all the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, they are sent from the server, which is called SSR, also known as server side rendering. And this pre-rendering is example of SSR. So let me show you this thing. If you open view page source here in the React application, you will only see these things, not the entire code. So let me show you where is it? Mm, let me yes, see. We are only loading this root ID from, I mean, we are only loading this div here and that contains all our code, nothing else. But in Next.js, this is not the case. So let me come here, click inspect and you will see the all the code here that is generated on the server or sorry, client side, I mean in the UI. But see the root is called div here. The same way if we view the page source, we will see the thing here. I mean the div ID as root. Where is it? This one. Let me zoom this in. As you see now, this is the root element in this div. And inside this div, all the data, I mean contents like HTML, CSS, JavaScript are being loaded dynamically. These are generated on the client side, not on the server side. Now let me do the same thing for this application here in the next chase. So open the view page source first and we will see all these things here. Okay. What happened? Let me do this. Yes, I guess. Okay. So here we will see the title, the content. I mean the, all the code that we have in the VS code, we will practically say here, like the content we have next yes, tutorial, we have meta name description like these. Then if you come further, we will see meta name, viewport, content, width, device, width, whatever. Then we have favicon icon link, href, all the items that we have here is in the view page source. Let me show you here. See, we have this, this is the home page, h2, go to the profile page, all the items. So these things are being sent from the server. And if you open inspect, you will see the same thing here in the body, like div id underscore underscore next and all in this, we have this h2 and all. So that is what pre rendering is generating the HTML, CSS or JavaScript on the server, not on the client side, which makes it faster. So basically what is pre rendering is, is when we load a page in Next.js, all the data like HTML, CSS, JavaScript are being generated on the server. But in a React application, this is generated on the client side or the browser. And that is why Next.js is faster than React.